Hello, this is Paula and I've got a quick demonstration of noise reduction in DxO. I think I'm on version 11 with the latest update. So the picture that we're looking at was taken yesterday. This is um, this is my son, Mr. Ollie, um, on stage singing. Um, he's in a, a sort of nightclub stroke bar in Leeds. Um, they didn't have as much stage lighting on as usual. So you can see over here it says the shot was taken at 10,000 ISO, 2.8 one two fiftieth of a second. Um, the camera is the Canon 5D Mark IV with the 70-200 2 2.82 lens. Um, so at first view it, it actually looks okay and it doesn't look like too much noise but it is, as we zoom in on this you can see um, I've switched noise reduction off in DxO. You can see there's quite a bit um, in, the, in the darker areas. So there we are in at 100%. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click high quality noise reduction on. There we go. So you can see that that is actually quite um, quite a big difference. Um, I've switched it off and and on again. There we go. Now. In DxO11, we have something called Prime, which is this button here. With Prime, you, you don't get a preview of Prime. It can only show it in this little window. So this preview here is HQ. Um, if I bring over like my little magnifier here, it'll show me the difference between Prime and HQ just in this window here. So if I switch Prime on now, you can see that the very small noise that we see over on this left hand side has become even smaller in Prime. Um, so I use Prime for all high ISO shots really. It does mean that processing of the image through DxO takes up to 10 times as long um, but it is worth it particularly if you've got images that you want to blow up to a very large size um, because um, at say 20 by 30 inches you you would want to get rid of as much noise as you can hope that helps bye